Having recently returned from patrol, the comrades of Lord Belt walked the corridors of High Hall, approaching the quarters of Eltonel's sovereign lord. Word of the unforgivable is in the land. Forces without virtue, it is whispered. Forces both powerful and corrupt, plot against the world. Thank the gods you're here with us. By helm, if only a moment sooner. The assassin who sought our lives has failed, but in his hand lies the holy symbol of Helm, the amulet torn from me as we fought. The cutthroat moves quickly toward the forest beyond the castle. Stop him and retrieve the amulet. Go now! A vow to Helm is sworn in Delt's presence, and the quest begins. Never shall the Lord of Eltonel see his comrades again until the amulet is safely in their hands. At the gate, an order to raise the portcullis is given. It ascends all too slow for those whose blood seeds with anger over the assault of Lord Delt. Hey folks, and welcome to Let's Play Ravenloft Strahd's Possession, the first of the games on this engine, and yet the last I'm playing, because it was the last I played uh, when I originally ran through all of these games, and I also just accidentally closed it. We're off to a good start here. I'm very happy with myself. It was wonderful. Not a hiccup in sight. We've already seen the intro movie game. Jesus. All right, there we go. So... This was the first release, it came out in 94, and like the previous games, we're going to be starting with fresh characters. We're not going to be playing Swell and Goldleaf as I did in my original party. We are going to be playing Rove and Chunk, and this is going to make this game, I think, a little bit more challenging because not having a cleric early on can be kind of rough. I'm sure there's a cleric in this, but I don't know where. And I think of the three games, this one has my favorite character generation. All right, there's no bullshit. It's just right into it. So we're going to be a male. We're going to be a... This is going to be Chunk, so he's going to be a dwarf. We are a... Fighter thief. He is lawful neutral. And now we have to find a Chunk face. God, look at that. That's like... Pre-killing spree Chunk right there. Let's see. Wow, the so wow, I'd forgotten how how few portraits there were in this one. Um I think of these I'm probably gonna go with this one for chunk. Re losing his eye. Oh boy, ability score rolling. So being a fighter, we wanna get him that percentile strength score if we can. Because I believe if we just edit Strength, it doesn't roll. Yeah. So ideally, we're looking for high physical stats across the board. Uh, a percentile strength and a good constitution is a must. I'd rather not have to adjust his hit points, if at all possible. 
1817. Get fucked. Get out of here with that. Come on now. Really, game? Really? I'll take like anything that's like maybe an 1850, 1850 or higher. Okay, so this is good. I'm going to swap his intelligence and dexterity. This I think will net him like a plus one to AC, plus two to AC. All right. Um, and I'm gonna swap his wisdom with his intelligence. Chunk is cunning. Okay. Click on attribute card to accept. Sure. We will keep. Enter name. Chunk. Up next, we have another male. We have an elf, and he is a magic user, a mage. I fucking love these card icons so much. Ah, oh, it looks it's, just, mm, it's so good. And he's as, he's as close to evil as possible, so we'll give him a chaotic neutral. All right, that's Rove adjacent. Probably what we're gonna go with. Although I think I used this one, didn't I? I literally just finished playing Stone Prophet and I remember nothing. I don't think I used that one. I think I used this one in his original playthrough. No, we didn't use that one. We used his his other one was like an elf with like green on him. Never mind. Yeah, we don't have anything. We have OG Swell though. I mean, there you go. Um. I'm leaning towards this one, I think. It's either going to be that one or this one. This one, I would take purely for the white hair being rove appropriate. But he has armor on, so yeah, I think we'll take the totally not evilly aligned. All right, so the goal, as per protocol, max intelligence, dumpster that constitution score. I mean, here, I'm just going to... We'll edit rove, because we all know... Rove is just bad. He's fifth level with five hit points. We got to keep the meme alive with a strength of three and we'll just we'll dumpster his charisma too because he's kind of an asshole. All right, done. There we go. Watch the future. Oh man, I was getting ready to take a drink and everything. Hear it? True, I mean the lack of sound. True, I mean the lack of... Ah, fucking flowery writing. Quisient is what you call it when birds go still and not a squirrel calls another from tree to tree. Happens when a big game animal rushes by like a man running for your life. The forest is quiet to the south, and that's where the assassin is gone. Let's be after him and done with it then. Not an hour's work, I hope. So the first thing I want to do... Is that the assassin right there? And enemies in this game move fucking fast. I have to remember, there it is. Okay, it's the top of the menu. I want to save. This game's going to run a lot faster than Stone Prophet did. Okay, and ideally it will... Um, I'm going to swap these two, so... <laughs> ah, you love to see it. You meet an encumbrance. All right, braces of protection. Chunk, you can have the knife. Scroll of invisibility, 10-foot radius. That's actually pretty good. Already knows it, though. A potion of healing and nothing in his scroll case. Is that potion encumbering you? No, it's your staff, isn't it? Just wearing a robe is too much for this fucking... Good lord. Good lord, robe. Never change. All right. So is it just mouse up here? Yes, okay. Let's memorize. I actually think I prefer having the menu up top like this to it being a button that you have to click. Now that I... I play this. All right, no step movement. Music sounds loud to me, but I think I just need to turn it down. It should be fine in recording. Distancing. Okay, I assume that's view distance. Everything else is on. Uh, Memoir. Ah, let's see what spells he has. He has nothing memorized. Jolly good show game. Go fuck yourself. Starting with flame arrow, though. That's a good start. That's a good start. Detect scrying. What the fuck? Oh my god. Improved Identify from the start, also a good, good get. No Burning Hands. Magic Missile I will take, as well as some Light. I'm gonna save for like the fourth time here. Want to try resting? No, too many monsters. Okay, so what do we have in our immediate... No mini-map! No mini-map. We gotta come up here for it. That 
sucks the fucking nastiest of asses. Alright. This dude is gonna rush me. I remember this game. Oh, is he? No, I'm chasing him. That's right, we have to follow him into, uh, we have to follow him into Ravenlaw. Hey, buddy. Rove's dead! <laughs> no! We gotta reload. Seriously can't sleep. My elf can't survive this encounter game. He cannot survive a single hit. It is nice, though, being able to just, like, spam click on guys to kill them. Just, like, look at that attack speed. Rose down again. Good lord. Reloading. We're, we're not... We're... Mm. I remembered the beginning of this game being kind of rough. I know this is going to be... A challenge, and then I also know the. I think I hear Strahd laugh, laughing, laughing. Uh, I also like the next area with the wargs. I remember being pretty bad. Don't hit Rove. Oh, he didn't kill him. Okay. One of these is Stealth's amulet, but the others? Unbelievable. The authority of those objects speaks to me without a touch. From a distance, never before I ever encountered such peaches of evil vigor, of such striking character. Oh, we must take them along. They may reveal everything about Delt's enemy. All right, we got Assassin's Parchment. Withered Heart of Mortal Ardor. Or Delt's Holy Symbol. All right. No, we're losing the light. Look there, a fog rolls in as though it would devour us. Ah, the mist creeps on as if to foretell our doom. This is a pretty cool transition. And I know as soon as we come in here, fucking Vistani ganking us. Do you sense it? Look about. This is not where we stood a moment ago. It seems most unnatural. Lord Delta Amulet and those foul objects we found on the assassin are gone. Gone. They've vanished. Don't you see they've been stolen from us? Okay. I don't want to immediately save. This chunk is in danger so yeah this has this has the fog similar to stone prophet although in this no, no it just spins us around and deals a little bit of damage okay all right i know there's a warg like right up there can i sleep god i know there's safety in here there's like a little trap door i'm gonna rush it doesn't look like much in here barely worth bothering if you ask me but then no wait there upon the floor what appears to be a trap door Let's not stand about. There must be a trigger, a lever, or some such. Come on, look about. That fucking dog. Here's a warg out there that'll eat my entire party alive. So we'll go inside and save. I don't remember. I think there's like zombies or something in here too. All right. Ah, oh, I missed. I missed having the casting menu down at the bottom here. I will fully admit that. Okay. So let's uh have a look at this letter. We got Is this red or do I have to read it? I guess I have to read it. I am beset by madness, perhaps insane. I commit these few words to paper that others might better judge my fate. Born to this land, my life's yearning focused on but one event to escape Ravenloft. This I accomplished. How I managed it, what secrets I acquired, and what I stole from an undead lich is unimportant. Know this, that in delving into arcane lore and ancient manuscripts, I came upon knowledge of the one article which might destroy Strahd. Further, in the land beyond Ravenloft, I may have found it. Through deceitful and torturous sources, many of which I only half believe, I have come to the conclusion that a charm worn by Lord Delt of Elturel is the holy symbol of Ravenkind. What is my madness? That after escaping Ravenloft, my heart tells me I must steal Delt's amulet, even if it means the death of that good lord. And with a charm I only half believe might be Strahd's doom, I must return to Ravenloft. Only I, it seems, might free my people from their eternal fate. All right, so that dude was probably a random Vistani. Okay. So we have two doors. We have a button. Fucking bat moving at me. All hostile like it's gonna be a, it is kind of a pain in the ass having to, to move our mouse up to the top to look at the mini map I will admit okay what do we got potion healing it begins whoever I don't care about healing can I ah we can still double click to dump things into the inventory blessed convenience 
Okay, what do we have here? Potion of extra healing. All right, is that everything? That looks like everything. Is there a, if I hit M maybe? Here's if there's like a, we can hit, game is paused, really. It's currently, wow, if you hit T, it tells you the fucking time. That's cute. Uh, I'm looking for like an auto map button though, because what I'll do, no, no auto map button. Ah, oh, unless it's an F key, maybe. Nope, no auto map button. At least not immediately noticeable. Kind of obnoxious, because I could just like rebind it to like one of my side mouse buttons or something and we'd be fine. Chainmail, nobody can use it, but I'm gonna hold on to it. Cleric scroll raised dead. Uh, and a uh, Baal Balverzi dagger. Let's see what this thing is. Why do you not have memorized the identification magic? Oh, I forgot to. I got light instead. All right, let's take this. Just throw that into Junk's inventory. Ah, oh, no more hotkeys on the keyboard for uh, quick dumping items. All right, so what do we got here? Oh, plus two. All right, good get. Uh, we'll take the dagger. We will recast light. And we'll come up top side. And I'm going to save again. Because I know there's a dog like right around here. We aggroed it. And it's just waiting, sharpening its warp. Oh, there's two of them. Shit. Leave Rove alone. Leave Rove alone. Is he still alive? Somehow Rove survived an attack. Okay. There are, of course, more. There are always more. Go magic missile. We'll get you with another one here in just a second. Really? Good God. Fucking wargs, man. Not even once. Okay, there are items actually on the ground back here. This is just rocks. Really? Really? Fuck you, game. <laughs> I'm not used to there not being like a cursor change when an item on the ground is interactable. So like I, I move up to something and expect the cursor to change so that I can like pick it up and it doesn't. So I think I'm further away. I know there's an NPC. I was going to say, yeah, I know there's an NPC out here that we can get into the party, which I probably will. He's just like some donkey merchant boy. He's just going to be a frontline fighter temporarily. One more. Death magic you. Oh, God, these things got reach on them, too. Holy shit. It's strafing around. All right, we got this. This game is so fucking snappy compared to the later ones. Which I mostly remember being just a problem in this early game. I remember it kind of falls off later and once we have the ability to like survive hits. Good job, Rove. Wow. Wow. First death screen at 18 minutes. That was fast. Having recently returned from Seen it. The Let me skip the menu game. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh yeah, can I nap again? No. What if I go back here? Some dude just chilling out. Skeleton and parchment. We didn't read this. What you got? What you got? Strad von Zarevich, Master of Barovia. If the heart of this dark land has a name, it is Strahd, my lord and my destroyer. As I die, let me write that I could never freely s what I could never freely say. That the very air about us bears the stench of Strahd's foul will. Let it be my epitaph that if I had the strength of youth, no assassin of the Balverzi would be more would more willingly devote himself to Strahd's destruction. With my last breath, I curse his name. And then I have a sit in my comfy seat to die. Well, that explains why we got this fancy dagger. God, look at that attack speed, though. I have to, like, drop the CPU cycles on this or something. Let me try. Uh, drop them down to 30% and see if that's maybe a little bit more. That's still pretty fucking snappy. All right. Rove. Oh, that's right. We have flame arrow. I totally forgot. I forgot Rove is fifth level. 
You sit back there. Oh, there's more than one of them. One of these things soloed my party, and they're like, yo, dog, have three. Or two, I should say. Play mirror, you failed me! They have, they have so much reach! These are goblins with an L-Y-N instead of an L-I-N, because Ravenloft and Edge. Twice! Man! <laughs> ah, I love it. What I don't love is this death screen taking like a year and a day to, to cycle through. I'm just glad there's no like input buffering. Come on, let me, let me open the menu. There we go. Okay, round four. Okay, we're gonna go back into the hut and we're gonna sleep this time. I thought maybe we'd be able to get by with just flame arrow. Clearly not. I want to memorize. I want to swap out improved identify for another scorcher. Have a have a nap. Back upstairs. Have a save. Being goblins, leave it to Ravenloft. My mouse just reflexively comes down to this part of the screen too to click for the mini map, and it does nothing. See, oh, there's somebody out to the east as well. Oh no, and we have the the sticky scroll. Ah, oh, maybe not. I don't know. Video games. Who's I see out to the east, out to the west, or right? Oh, oh you're a Vistani, aren't you? Yeah. You try and take the rest of my gear. Sir, you appear to have lost your way. Much as we have. Is there any assistance we might offer? Lost? No, not I. He's lost. Gone forever now. I know that. In the forest beyond the woods. In the dark beyond the night. My son is lost to me. Forever. You and the other town folk go home now. We've done all we can. Staying here will only bring them out. More vile appetites watching us from beyond those trees. Somewhere in the dark. They must smell our blood by now. Okay, I wish it would tell me who um, who was talking here so that I could do voices, but it doesn't. It, it does when we actually click the option. Do you know of the dwelling nearby? We came upon a hut where the welcome died out long ago. Its owner lay unburied within. All I know of it is this. I found no sign of my son there. He is lost. And my hopes to find him lies dead as the corpse in that place. I leave pieces of my hope behind with each cold step. The corpse of my hope lies unburied on the land. But you must go. You are not safe in these devil woods. Don't have much choice. Would you direct us to a town, some settlement where we might bargain for supplies or raise a tanker to dull our thirst? But from where? Ah, you come from the mist. I've heard of such things. If either the like of that is upon us, I urge you, get away. The force will not be safe. A road lies away off, but if you make haste, you may reach it alive. From there, you'll find your way to Barovia. Okay, thanks, buddy. Bye. Don't get eaten by the wargs. They're coming. All right. All right. Ooh, there's one behind me. I heard that attack sound effect. You fucking sneaky shitlords. I gotta say, Agonizer Scorcher's doing some work. Ah, damn it, Rove. Five hit points, why? Jesus Christ. I had forgotten how chunky the beginning of this was. I remembered that it was rough, but good lord. All right, well, now at least we know that that guy has absolutely nothing of value to tell us. We could maybe make a run for the 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 road that he was talking about. And that would see, I think that this is voiceover, so this is a CD version of the game. So the road will have there's another hireling we can get over there. Take a bunch of stuff over here. All right, let's let's try that. Are we looking on XP? Rove's actually near a level. We'll gain prob realistically probably a hit point. Well, is this Constitution 5? 6. I think that's like a negative 1 or a negative 2. 
So theoretically, he could gain several hit points. Stay away from me, you fucking hell dog. Lord, I'm used to Chunk being able to kill things, and now it's all rogue. I can't tell what this is supposed to be. It looks like kind of like limbs, but I think it's supposed to be rocks. Horrifying. Oh, I saw that fucker behind the tree. Oh, that was... <laughs> I saw that fucker behind the tree. It looked like a tree. Another totally is one. You. Looks like somebody else got eaten out here. Just make sure we're not getting snuck up on. We got, oh, some, some ointment and a shield, non-magical. A scroll case, ooh, detect magic, cure light wounds, flame blade. Well, hold on. Uh, so there's a there's a dead cleric out here. Really, guy? Really? Monrove. Monrove. Is there another one chewing on us, or did that just hit Rove? No, it just hit Rove. Okay. Whew. Man. Trying to use consumables. Mace. I wonder if this is magical. Uh, he doesn't have this can go your light wounds I'll hold on to and raise dead I'm gonna hold on to but otherwise he can just keep that I'm, I'm slowly amassing gear here like I have I have a loadout for another party member should the need arise oh god I hear it but I don't know where it is but if I hear it it can see me maybe I don't know I'm saving afraid of everything we're making them run for the road. I think there are like bandits on the road. If you walk my land and heed my laws, a warning to those who defy my will, Strad von Zarevich. Just chilling out. See, I think we can find, I don't remember where she is. The proto gold leaf on this road. Like a lesson in swordplay, no? Well, another time perhaps. After you have to grapple with the bandits hiding in these trees, you'll wish you had sharpened your skills. Seriously now, these woods are alive with bandits. I fear their cold gaze prickling the skin on my back. Keep watch. I did not mean to memorize. Blades, it's a trap. Here they come. Their eyes glaze for a fight. Well, they can get glazed with a magic missile. There gotta be like fucking a thousand of you guys. No. Oh no, I have no spells left. Did I just area transition? Uh, I think I did. I think there's a sneaky area transition here. Can I sleep? Ah, totally can. All right. Yeah, I think there's a sneaky area transition right here. I'm gonna just do this and then fucking. Really? Hagen hazards, why? Is that another area transition? Oh no. I yield. Hear me, I yield. I'm done. At your mercy, as you plainly see. I implore you, leave what breath remains to me in my lungs. Leave to me my blood so that it might hide deep in these cowardly veins of mine. I, I'll flee from here, I promise you that. Never to return or to undertake thievery again. Uh no. Where your blood and your breath reside is of no concern to me. Now fight and let it be the finish, for I shall not yield to the likes of you. Yield? Did I say yield? A jest only. A trick to make you drop your guard. But our little talk is done as well. As they say, I've caught my second wind. It's breath enough to finish you. Oh god, they reversed the hood pull animation. Uh... Alright, I have no idea where that guy was. But we got him. Ah, video games. Okay. What we I hear the dogs. Is this a hostile bat or is this a, an animatronic? Nope, it's a skeletal bat. Very hostile. Once eat our faces off, deal several points of damage. Rove in immediate. Oh God. Stay away. Where is this fucking? I know she's along here somewhere. Is this her? No. Pietro Mark One. Almighty. <laughs> this is terrible. This is terrible. Who are you? What do you got to say? 
Oh, fellow, which way to the nearest town? You're the first traffic we've encountered that hasn't tried to attack us. Hmm. I trust you will return the favor. It is often said in this land that only a fool crosses a gypsy, and I am of full Vistani blood. As to the nearest town, that would be to the north, the village of Barovia. Mm, this is Barovia, is it a Vistani town? Ah, no. Barovia is a place for Georgios, for those not lucky enough to be born Vistani. The boundless world is a gypsy's home. Ah, but the land is not as boundless as it was once. And in places, in the outer regions of Barovia, you will come upon a fog. Beware. It is a vapor. A poisonous mist that rots the organs. Only a Vistani potion can get you through. Mm, your words have the sound of good sooth. For safety's sake, I ask you, how may we acquire your potion, this antidote for the fog? Fifteen coins and the potion is yours. Ah, but your eyes tell me you do not have such a sum. Worry not. I am soon to be in Barovia myself. You will find me at a tavern known as the Blood of the Vine. Later, you may have coin enough. And in good faith, I will reserve some of my potion for the honest fellow I meet upon the road. Yes, you do not have 15 gold pieces, something that no adventurer could carry at first or fifth level. Uh, what of the king of this land? We've heard he is a tyrant named Strahd, a man much despised by his people. I'm afraid you are misinformed. For one, Strahd is no king. Our lord, Count Strahd von Zarovich, makes few laws, and his voice is rarely heard. He rules from the shadows. Even so, he is the lord, the land, and the law. A friend to the Vestani and a just ruler. If you heard otherwise, your ears know the voice of an evil man. All right. Well, that's... We, we now have our, our exit, tentatively. It's... How hard, how hard could it be to find 15 gold pieces? Oh God, we're fucked. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. No, just gonna go ahead and reload. Just need somebody else in the front row. Uh, although uh, when we're outdoors, I don't think it would help us. No, there she is. God damn it, Rove. Yeah, this is this is a character that was actually, I think, added to this game in the CD version, like in Stone Prophet, we got uh, the Jackal Weir. In this, we get this woman. I think she's a thief mage. Man, why, Rove? Why? It's a bat, man. A bat. How can you be so bad? Am I getting, yeah, yeah. <sighs> this, this is annoying. Uh, okay, can I like, I'm sure it won't let me just sleep here. Did it let me sleep here? No. We're getting bat ganked from somewhere. Never mind, we killed it. Levels? No. None of this stuff is worth like hardly any experience. I need my I need my stone profit golem so that I can start this game like hilariously overleveled. Hey now. I already cleared this area. Don't you be giving me your random encounter bullshit. Go chunk. MVP. Fucking what? <laughs> I, I sleep and the game kills me. I love it. Okay, so this is an ambush. Come on, guys. There we go. Fucking row. They just keep coming. This game is... This game is has very rapidly turned into survival horror. There we go. Good God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Band boys growling in the background. Y'all can go as feral as you want. Okay. All right, so we know that there's bullshit through here that's gonna try to eat my face off. Yes, there was. 
Jesus, fuck! So the, the one downside to this not popping up a window to, like, pick our spells is I got used to, in Stone Prophet, when we would cast a spell, it would give me... It would give me pause, and I would be able to, like, think about what I wanted to cast and stuff, whereas now it's like, nah, bro. Real time. And this isn't like Menzo, where the game's slow-paced enough that you have time to think. Combat is very frantic in this. At least it is right now. Alright, there's Barovia. No, I need bodies. Hello. Ho Peacock, or rather, since you are of the light and grace of a female, Ho Peahen! What are you doing in this dreadworn land, my lady? Looking for friends, if I may call you that. And if I may, then know that I am looking for friends with coin. Do you have any? Traveling abroad has left my purse as light as a feather, and I am in search of generosity. Or if necessary, if truly, desperately necessary, honest work. Of course, even an adventure would be preferable to that. Are you on? We need a body. You'll find I can be generous with wine, good food, and friendly conversation, but coin you must earn. How much do you need? There's a limit? Is there some level of wealth where we need no more? Well, to be honest, my first goal is to find a house that meets my needs. Perhaps in the village of Barovia. After that, I don't know. I've never been very good with plans. Uh, let's see... You come along and add your blade to the work. Blade, book, and sleight of hand. These tools of mine are at your command. May we journey together with laughter in our voices, and the sound of jingling coin ever closer to our ears. Lady, you're in the party until I find somebody that can tank hits better than you can. What you got? Oh, she's a fighter mage thief. Good lord. 27 hit points, though. She's fucking party tank, apparently. All right. So that means she can't wear armor, though. Oof. AC4, although I guess she's better off than Chunk. Right, what's she got? A couple throwing knives I don't give a shit about. A long sword, which I'm going to have her swap with Chunk. And a mage scroll of improved identify. She can learn that. And thieves tools. I don't recall thieves being particularly good in this, but we have another body. And this body can cast Agonizer Scorcher and more magic missiles, which... As far as I'm concerned, just basically doubled our offensive output. Also, she has hit points. Saving. And I think on that note, I'm going to go ahead and call an episode here. So as usual, folks, thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time. We're in. We're going to backtrack and get the other hireling that I know where they are. And God help us. Until then. Hey, you made it to the end. Nice. If you had a good time, check out one of these other series. See if you like them. Drop a like, comment, or subscribe if you'd like to support the channel, be the machine and all that. And as always, thanks for watching.